If they don't ask you explicitly, shut your damn mouth. Do you understand? I am so tired of being antagonized and followed by Christians who think I need God because I have blue dye in my hair or because I wear safety pin earrings. I don't believe in God. You see, I was watching this video and it completely breaks my heart, but I'm going to try and dress as much of it as possible. You see, the main point of the three minute rant that she made is simply that I shouldn't be allowed to spread the gospel to anybody who doesn't ask me about my religion simply because she doesn't believe that Christianity is the truth. But you see, if you're walking down the street and a bus is about to hit you and kill you, should I just sit there and not say anything or do anything simply because you aren't aware that the bus is about to hit you? And while I understand that Christianity may not be something that you believe in, that doesn't make God non-existent. You see, your relative truth doesn't determine the absolute truth that God is real and that he loves you. And to be honest, as a Christian, I would have to absolutely hate you with everything inside of me to not tell you about the good news of what Jesus Christ did for you on the cross. Because as a Christian, I understand that nobody's worthy to get into heaven. I don't deserve to go to heaven, neither do you. And that's not because of your blue hair or your safety pin earrings or anything like that. You see, Romans 3.23 says, for all have sinned and fallen toward the glory of God. And what this means is that none of us, no matter how good of a life we live, are gonna be good enough to earn our way into heaven. If that was the case, then why would Jesus have to come down and die on the cross for our sins? But you see, the thing is that even though none of us can earn our way into heaven or live a good enough life to do it, God saw that and he loves us so much that even though we don't deserve it, he still gives us the opportunity to get into heaven through Jesus's death and resurrection on the cross. And so whenever I choose to spread the gospel to people, it's not because I think that I'm better than anyone else. In fact, I have to humble myself as a Christian and understand that I'm not worthy to get into heaven either. But as a true follower of Christ, I understand the urgency of the message of the gospel to everyone here on this earth. And I have a hard time eating or sleeping or doing any activity without trying to tell anyone and everyone about the love that Jesus has for them because whether you choose to believe it or not we're all going to die one day and spend an eternity either with god or separated from god and no matter what someone does or says i don't want anyone to spend an eternity separated from god going through the most amount of pain imaginable and no i'm not trying to scare you into the gospel because i understand you yourself said you don't even believe in hell but what I am wanting you to understand is that there has to be a sense of urgency on my part to help you understand what is going on. You see, as we see in 2 Corinthians 4, 4, the God of this world, meaning Satan, has blinded you from seeing the truth. And I myself was blinded too for a really long time. But whenever I actually started looking at the scientific evidence and archaeological evidence and stuff, there's so much support for Christianity and Jesus being real and the Son of God. All I'm saying is that I wouldn't be saying this to you if I didn't 100,000% believe that God was real. Now, I'm sorry if you don't like this video. This video isn't meant to be at you. This is all out of love.